process since this is the first time I'm going to be working through and spinning up a fiber for a particular pattern. Um, like I said, this pattern uh, is for Vicky. We found it on Ravelry, which is a great place to download many patterns. And it calls for, for the particular version that's pictured, uh, 320 yards of a fingering weight yarn. So you can use, obviously, many different weights and adjust it by doing the chart repeats different times. We like the openness of this pattern and maybe you want to make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to aim for about 400 yards of this gradient yarn that I'm spinning. And I did a test spin last weekend, so I've determined, I think I did about 380 yards with 120 grams. So I'm aiming for about 140 grams uh, to comb a gradient and see if that gets me about the right length for the shawl that we're making. So I purchased uh, a few different colors for this off of the Woolery website. Uh, this is Merino Top. I got it in this great daffodil color. This is a super fine. The apricot is a super fine. The scarlet is a super fine. These are 19 micron, which basically just means that it's very thin and very soft and wonderful. Uh, the purple and the blue here are also Merino Top. They're not super fine, but I don't think it's going to make a big difference. I got four ounces of each color, and then uh, I've broken all of the blends down into 17 different colors. So five of them are going to be the straight color that came dyed from Woolery, and 12 of them are going to be blends. So I've blended up most of these colors already. For instance, this one is going to be the 10th color I'm spinning, which is six grams of the red and two grams of the purple color. This one will be the fourth color I'm spinning which is six grams of orange and two of yellow. This one will be the seventh, which is four grams of orange, four grams of red. So uh, you can see that I'll make a whole bunch of colors. I'm gonna show you how I blend the last one. So this is a straight purple, that's eight ounces. I'm sorry, eight grams. Here's eight grams of the blue. Um, and I just used, once I got five strips of eight grams, I just used a kitchen scale to weigh them and make sure that I was looking in the right weight. So this right here is going to be six grams of the blue, two of the purple, and I'm going to show you how to blend them on my hand combs. So these are hand combs, which I also purchased at Woolery, that you can get at um, a local spinning store if you're lucky enough to have one or a summer festival. So I'm just going to take the top and feed it on. down to the table. So now I'll take my second comb and turn it 90 degrees to the first and just start blending those fibers together. Um, because this fiber has already been prepared, it's not going to be a lot of work and I'm not too concerned about getting the colors 100% mixed since it is going to be a gradient yarn. I'm just getting them all onto the second comb. And then keeping it at 90 degrees still to the first comb, I'm going to start putting it back on the first comb. Just be really careful because it's sharp. just has a hole in it that lets you measure the uh, diameter of the top that you're going to pull through. So I'm using this tiny hook right here to pull some fiber through. And you can find all sorts of instructional videos on YouTube, Craftsy, uh, a bunch of other places if you want to learn how to use hand combs or dizz or basically any other sort of fiber uh, prep. So I'm just pulling this 
short of the staple length. You just do short pulls through the diz, and it gets you this nice um, top that you can spin from pretty easily. Again, here's the blended comb top, and the reason that I'm using combs and doing comb top instead of using cards and making roving is because I want a more uh, worsted type of yarn that's going to be more durable and smooth as opposed to a woolen yarn, which will be a little bit fluffier and lighter and have more of those fuzzies hanging out. But because I'm going to be stringing beads on it and because I want it to be pretty durable, that's why I'm aligning all of these fibers so that I can spin a worsted kind of yarn. So uh, now that I've made this top and I've finished blending all of my fibers, uh, I'm going to say goodbye for now and I'll see you in the next video which will be spinning on the wheel into some singles and doing some plying on it as well. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to write them below in the comment section and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.